Good evening. Good evening, Mayor. And welcome to the Township Committee meeting of April the 26th, 2016. Ms. Borak, will you please call the roll? Commander Burchett. Here. Commander McCauley. Here. Ken Thompson. Here. Deputy Mayor Sirachi. Mayor Delfour. Here. Please join me in a salute to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975. The notice of this meeting was made by the posting on the bulletin board at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at 7.30 p.m. at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex on April the 26, 2016. First on our agenda tonight, we have uh, approval of minutes. Uh, can I have a motion to approve the minutes of the April 12th, 2016 regular session. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Mayor Rochette? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Uh, we'll move to reports from committee liaisons. Uh, first up, committee member Burchette. From Public Works, once again, Hillsborough Township has partnered with New Jersey Recovery and will be distributing up to five seedling trees per resident who participates in the township's annual cleanup on Saturday, April 30th. We're happy to announce this partnership is still going strong and we are able to offer not only free, free service of access to the facility, but also the seedling program through New Jersey Recovery. The first 200 residents who visit the Otten Road dump facility on April 30th will receive five seedlings to plant on their property as a replacement in the event that they lost any trees during Superstore and Standy or any other subsequent weather events. This initiative is to provide communities throughout the state an opportunity to replace damage to dead trees that have fallen victim to these weather events. Additionally, Hillsborough Township 2016 annual cleanup coupons are now available at the Department of Public Works for both senior pickup and access to the Otten Road dump facility. The DPW garage is located at 21 East Mountain Road next to the YMCA. They are open from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. Visit the Township website or the Friday E newsletter for more information. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, Committee Woman McCauley. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everybody. Uh, just a few things for me tonight from the public safety point of view from Chief Darren Powell in the Hillsborough Police Department. A reminder to uh, residents to take safety mechanisms on the highways this summer while you're traveling. The Division of Highway Traffic Safety is asking motorists to make the move, which is move over, that is. And when you see flashing lights on the side of the road, whether it's police, paramedics, truck, uh, tow truck drivers, please slow down, even if it's below the posted speed limit. Uh, it's for safety, and uh, there's been several accidents throughout the state, so they're trying to uh, make the residents more aware of being on the road. It's all part of New Jersey move over law. As far as sustainable goes, at our last meeting, I reported we received a $10,000 grant. It was funded by PSENG through New Jersey Sustainable, and uh, we will be using the grant, as I said I would notify you tonight. Uh, we'll be using it for uh, development of a conservation easement parcel database. It's detailing the location and type of easements, owners, and size of uh, for the information in the database will be incorporated into the township's digitalized, digitized, sorry, parcel-based GIS mapping system for community outreach and education focusing on the importance of natural resources that are protected by the municipality that we hold the easements for. So that'll be a project we're undertaking with that grant money. So I wanted to say again, congratulations to Sustainable for reaching out and uh, receiving money for this project. And that's it for me this evening, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, Committee Thompson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, a couple announcements. Uh, first, property owners reminded that taxes here in the township are due on May 1st. The grace period for paying those taxes without any interest is close of business on Tuesday, May 10th, so please uh, get your taxes in on time. Also, from recreation, the 2016 recreation camps will be held June 20th to August 12th at various locations around town. Camps are open to children ages uh, 5 who have finished kindergarten to 14. 
and uh, the half day tiny camp program for children four to five who have not finished kindergarten yet are also available Rec recreational camps are fun affordable and close to home I did them when I was young and they're great so uh, I say sign your kids up it's a great opportunity from the library in honor of Arbor Day on Saturday April 30th at 10 a.m. there will be a ceremonial tree planting on the grounds of Minnesota complex by Christian Plunkett an ISA board certified master arborist and uh, he was also hosted program here at the township at the library earlier this, this month after the ceremonial tree planting there will be a tree tour and discovery of the other trees that are around the municipal complex uh, so please come out and try to attend that to attend that there'll be additional information in this week's uh, e-newsletter from the mayor also uh, recently if you haven't seen or seen or heard about this but we've uh, had a couple black bear sightings up in our western part of the township black bears have lived in the remote areas of the sour Island mountains for <coughs> years each year uh, we seem to have more and more encounters especially during the springtime when they're coming out for food residents are urged to keep garbage cans secured and limit access to bird feeders so that bears are not conditioned to associate humans and houses with food Residents are asked to report any bear activity to our Hillsborough Health Department, and residents or who are looking for more information about that should visit the New Jersey Fish and Game website. That's all from me, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just a couple items tonight from me. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Hillsborough Baseball League. Uh, on the 16th, I had the opportunity to participate in our opening day ceremonies. It's the first year in a couple that we were actually able to have it on the first day of the uh, that it was scheduled for. Uh, no rainouts, no uh, no having to reschedule. A little chilly that morning, but uh, everyone uh, we all got out there got to throw a first pitch. A little low and outside, not a perfect strike, but uh, I'm sure I would have gotten a swing and miss if somebody was batting. Um, but a lot of kids out there. It was great to see uh, everyone excited about the baseball season. As always, uh, thanks to the baseball league for. Uh, allowing us to participate in our opening day. Uh, also, this past, uh, uh, sorry, a, a week ago, this past Thursday, um, I had the opportunity to meet with Troop 89 Boy Scouts, um, participate in uh, just a Q&A session with them, uh, tell them a little bit about municipal government, uh, about what the township committee and the, and the mayor uh, responsibilities are, uh, some of the things that we do here for the, for the township, Man, I got to tell you, um, kids ask us some of the toughest questions I've ever faced in, uh, in the public. So uh, it's it's interesting. They uh, they have really good questions. They were prepared, and uh, they asked me a lot of interesting uh, stuff that, fortunately, I was able to a answer and not to embarrass myself too much. I think in front of them. So um, I thank them for for coming out and, and really taking an interest in in what's happening here in the township. Uh, they were good sports and um, a lot of parents there too. So. It, funny you always ask answer questions that the kids ask and you see the wheels start to turn and the parents said really that's how you guys do that um, so it was good to see some involvement from uh, from the parents as well um, also as we try to uh, relay each time we're up here there are lots of ways if you do want to stay connected understand what we're doing uh, things that are going on in town uh, there are a number of opportunities for you to do that of course, we have our e-newsletter gets sent out each Friday. Talks about community events. There's forms in the back uh, if you want to sign up for that. If you're not already receiving that, uh, we also do have a, uh, a Twitter feed that we try to get uh, timely information out if there's uh, issues going on in town, road closures and the like. Uh, we also have um, our Nixle and Honeywell Instant Alert uh, for emergency services. So there are lots of ways you can be sure that you're on top of everything that's going on in town. Uh, if you want information, you can you can uh, access any of those medium on our uh, on our township website. All right, uh, that's it for me tonight. Uh, we're going to move on to proclamations. Uh, I ask that uh, as we call each of the groups up uh, after you've completed your receipt, uh, if you could please uh, go back and take your seat again. Uh, once everyone has received their proclamations, we'll give everybody an opportunity. Uh, to, uh, to head out before we continue with the rest of the meeting. As always, you're welcome to stay. Um, no one ever seems to take us up on that. <laughs> um, but you're, uh, you're welcome to stay, but we'll, we will give you an opportunity. So if you could just stick around until all the proclamations are done, we would appreciate that. 
So first up, um, I'd like to invite up Maria Volio. She's the chair of our credit card advisory committee, and she's going to join me for the grant award presentations. And I'm sure we have a couple other members of the credit card committee yes. as well. <laughs> and our youngest member. <laughs> Your full microphone. So before I turn it over, just so everyone, uh, if you're not familiar with the process, um, oh, well, good, then I'm going to let Sean explain it. <laughs> Sean is from the Affinity Bank. Yeah. My name is Sean Lubitz. I'm the branch manager of the Affinity Federal Credit Union here in Hillsborough. Um, first, I want to thank the township for allowing Affinity to administer the credit card for so long. I do appreciate that. And as well as the credit card committee for their time and effort to make it so successful. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The way the Hillsborough credit card works is Affinity Federal Credit Union here in the Hillsborough branch has a specific credit card that when used by um, township members, the credit card when swiped at a merchant, that merchant specifically pays Affinity Federal Credit Union a fee. So it is not a fee paid for by the township. Affinity Federal Credit Union does, um, donates 40% of that interchange income to the Hillsborough Credit Card Committee. The committee then makes the decision of who receives what grants and for how much money they receive it. So again, if you're interested, um, it is a very easy way to give back to the community. And I do encourage you to come see me or any of the staff in Hillsborough. And if you have any questions, just please let me know. Thank you. As noted, it really is a great program. It gives us the opportunity, like we have tonight, to uh, donate back to some uh, not-for-profit organizations or volunteer organizations. So uh, we do this usually about three times a year. Gives us a great opportunity to give back. So um, I'll turn it over to Marie and you can tell us where the uh, money's going this time. Well, this evening we're giving out over $8,000 worth of grants to six nonprofits, both seniors and youth. Uh, since its inception, we've given out over for the township, Junction with Affinity have given over $50,000 worth of grant money. And this is through Affinity. Uh, so, you ready? <laughs> uh, anyone from Chapter A, the seniors? Chapter A? Oh, we got one. They need microphones to be used at monthly meetings and other occasions. We approved $500 to purchase them. On behalf of Chapter A, I'd like to thank the Credit Card Committee and also Hillsborough Township. Hillsborough Township is terrific to the senior clubs. You'll love it when you get there, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Anyone from the lacrosse, the youth lacrosse? Now, the Youth Lacrosse submitted a proposal to support the purchase of six new goals and netting to replace the existing ones. The regulation goals are a key piece of the equipment for the league and are required for the two weekend tournaments. And they requested $2,000, of which we gave them $2,000. Thank you very much. This will go to great youth and benefit close to 200 youth in our community who participate in our programs. The first weekend of our tournaments is actually this coming Saturday, and we have games all day long between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., and it's going to be a very busy day for all of us, and we're looking forward to new nets coming in the near future. Thank you. C 
Senior Chapter B. Senior Chapter B needs the speaker system to replace the current one that they've been using, and it was for $425. The one they were using, they've used for 20 years. So this is to replace it. Well, thank you for the, uh, the grant. And our seniors will, will appreciate it, because you know when you get a little older, you get a little hard of hearing, and, <laughs> and the system will help us to communicate. Thank you. The Hillsborough High School Boys Soccer Club Incorporated, the ones that, uh, the future Raiders. Anyone here from there? Ah. We're to provide appropriate equipment <coughs> for participants who attend the Future Raider Soccer Club. And it's run by volunteers from the high school soccer team for young soccer players in our community in conjunction with the Hillsborough Travel Soccer Program and they needed new nets, equipment, and it totaled over $1,700. Uh, my name is Eric Puma. I'm the, uh, an English teacher and the boys soccer coach at the high school. We're very thankful for this award. Um, what we do is we run a week where uh, players like Carter uh, volunteer their time and coach these young future Raiders and uh, certainly um, we work to have these high school students be mentors for these young guys not only as soccer players but as people so this equipment will be useful for years to come thank you very much Okay, we have to, per or they have to purchase uh, new goals required by the USSF uh, guidelines, and they're for, for new nets and totaling $2,000. I'd like, like to thank the township and Affinity for uh, putting this program together and uh, you know, we're all volunteers. Um, I think we support 340, 350 kids this year and uh, with, with more teams we need more goals for, for the games that we have. I don't know if you see the fields on Saturdays, but uh, there's kids playing soccer everywhere so we appreciate the help. And next, we have the Boy Scout Troop 1776. They've put in for different type of equipment, including some canopies and water jug, yeah. uh, the Dutch oven, and this is interesting, uh, youth-sized snowshoes, <laughs> and totaling $1,600. Uh, on behalf of my troop, I'd like to thank the, uh, <coughs> the township and, and Affinity. Um, we, need this, uh, we needed this grant because one of our seemingly indestructible tents collapsed and, uh, <laughs> during some high winds, and we're uh, planning to go on a snowshoeing trip <coughs> next coming winter, and we really needed these uh, new snow snowshoes, so thank you very much. <laughs> And we'll see you in the fall and keep using those credit cards. Thank you very much, Mary.
anyone here for National Volunteer Month? Come on up. We've got a lot of people here, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Whereas National Volunteer Month was first established by President Richard Nixon in 1974, and whereas National Volunteer Month is about inspiring, recognizing, and encouraging people to seek out imaginative ways to engage in their communities, and whereas New Jersey's 1.5 million volunteers provide more than 170 million hours of service annually, and whereas through service, ordinary people can make extraordinary impact by working together, and we have the fortitude to meet our challenges. And whereas an entire community can inspire, equip, and mobilize people to take action that changes the world. And whereas volunteers can connect with local community service opportunities through hundreds of community service organizations. And whereas during National Volunteer Month, service projects will be performed and volunteers recognized for their commitment to service. And whereas Hillsborough Township would like to recognize the following individuals for their dedicated volunteerism within our community. Carl Bayer, Juliet Bayer, Emily Benedon, Karen Briggs, Pam Figgert, Tammy Hammer, Donna Hands, Robin Kimmelman, Shannon McCray, Lou Passamato, and Maureen Yuniskevich. Now therefore be it proclaimed that we the Mayor and the Township Committee of the Township of Hillsborough recognize April as National Volunteer Month and thank all of our residents who volunteer their time and talents for the benefit of our community. Thank you all very, very much. Okay, uh, can I call up Karen Siegel at this time? Whereas, Karen Siegel has received the honor of Triangle Road Elementary School Educational Services Professional of the Year for 2016 for her dedication and service to the Hillsborough School District. And whereas Ms. Siegel is an occupational therapist at the Triangle Road Elementary School. And Ms. Siegel has been a member of the Hillsborough School District faculty since 2001. And whereas Ms. Siegel began her career 22 years ago working with adults at a subacute rehab center. And whereas Ms. Siegel feels very lucky to be working in the Hillsborough School District with the most amazing staff, children, and parents. And whereas Ms. Siegel enjoys gardening, photography, biking, cooking, and taking trips to the beach in her spare time. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee of, of the township of Hillsborough, further commend Karen Siegel for being recognized as the Triangle Road Elementary School Educational Services Professional of the Year, and we thank her for all her work and dedication to the youth of Hillsborough. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm honored to accept this, and thank you to the committee.
We call up Nancy McDonald. Whereas Nancy McDonald has received the honor of Triangle Elementary School Teacher of the Year for 2016 for her dedication and service to the Hillsborough School District. And whereas Ms. McDonald has been a member of the Hillsborough School District for 23 years. And whereas Ms. McDonald is an academic support teacher at the Triangle Elementary School. And whereas Ms. McDonald started as a storyteller at both Triangle Elementary School and Woods Road Elementary School during her first two years, followed by teaching second grade at Triangle. And whereas Ms. McDonald is currently in her 11th year as an academic support teacher, where she works with struggling readers in the grades first through fourth. And whereas Ms. McDonald has said it is extremely rewarding to see the progress and strides her students gain in reading from year to year, and she strives to encourage a love for reading and learning in her students. And whereas Ms. McDonald is involved in various committees such as Read Across America, Young Authors Day, and Parent Appreciation. And whereas Ms. McDonald enjoys representing Triangle Elementary School at various out-of-classroom social events, particularly Foot Foothill Acres Nursing Home. Now therefore be it proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Township Committee of the Township of Hillsboro, further commend Nancy McDonald for being recognized as the Triangle Elementary School Teacher of the Year, and we thank her for all her work and dedication to the youth and students of Hillsboro. Congratulations. Township Committee for the recognition. It's greatly appreciated. Okay, and one last proclamation tonight. Uh, can I call up Dr. Lorene Wolf? Whereas Hillsborough Township resident Dr. Lorene Wolf has been recognized by the Somerset County Commission on the Status of Women in celebration of Women's History Month. And whereas Dr. Wolf was honored with the Medicine Award at the annual Outstanding Women in Somerset County Awards Dinner. And whereas Dr. Wolf is an orthodontist in Hillsborough who opened her practice in 1998 and is also an orthodontic advisor to the Somerset component of the Seattle Study Club. And whereas Dr. Wolf graduated from the University of Pennsylvania School of Dental Medicine as valedictorian of her class. And whereas in 2008, Dr. Wolf established Giving Smiles Foundation, a nonprofit organization that supports local communities. And whereas the Giving Smiles essay contest encourages local children to write about community service they were personally involved with, in, with donations being made to the charities of the winner's choice. And whereas the Giving Smiles Foundation also awarded scholarships for high school students and donated money to the local charity Steps Together. Now therefore be it proclaimed by the Mayor and the Township Committee of the Township of Hillsboro that Dr. Lorene Wolf is hereby recognized for her many contributions to our community and be it further proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Township Committee, join the, join the Somerset County Commission on the Status of Women in saluting Dr. Wolf for being honored with the Medicine Award and thank her for her dedication to our community. Congratulations. thank the mayor and the committee and I'm just truly grateful to have my practice here in Hillsboro and to live here and raise my family in Hillsboro. So thank you so much. We were very fortunate here in Hillsboro to have four uh, recipients at the awards dinner last month and uh, over the course of the next month or two we'll We'll be recognizing all of our winners, uh, Dr. Wolf being the first. So we have a great group of, uh, of very established women here in Hillsboro. We, we, uh, we always have the best showing at the county, uh, so we appreciate that. Uh, with that. Before we move on to the rest of our agenda with the uh, 
consent of the fellow committee, I'd like to move on consideration number one, which is a resolution to, uh, to hire Brian Viannunciseo, John Seipel, and Dennis Rivera as police officers in the Hillsborough Township Police Department. Uh, there exist vacancies within our department as a result of recent retirements, and this resolution authorizes the hiring of said individuals to fill those vacancies. Can I have a motion? So moved, Mayor. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Okay, Merchette? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Congratulations. Mayor Delcourt? Mayor Delcourt. Yes. Um, at this time, I'd like to invite uh, Committee Woman McCauley and uh, Committee Member Shett, along with Chief Powell and Officer Brian D'Annunziseo and his family to come forward and swear in. I hope I got that right. <laughs> I state your name. I, Brian D. Nunciuso. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the gover uh, governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will impartially. That I will impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of. All the duties of. The office of police officer. The office of police officer. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Okay, can I call up uh, John Seipel? John Seipel. Do you solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially, that I will impartially and justly perform and justly perform all the duties, all the duties of the office of police officer, of the office of police officer, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thanks.
Okay, and Dennis Rivera. Any family you can bring up? Yeah. Bring them all. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the government established. And to the government established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will impartially. That I will impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of office. All the duties of office. Of police officer. Of police officer. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Okay, as I promised, you have the opportunity now to leave. <coughs> You're welcome to stay. I see the mad rush to stay. <coughs> thank you all. Okay, thank you uh, to, uh, to everyone that came up this evening. In particular, congratulations to our new officers. We look forward to them joining our, uh, our department here. We will move to uh, the next item on our agenda, we have no new business tonight, so we'll move to public comment on matters uh, not on tonight's agenda. Any, uh, anyone has a comment on not on tonight's agenda? Now come forward. All right, seeing none, we'll move to public hearings. Uh, our first public hearing tonight is on pre-qualification pre regulations for potential bidders for the phase two repair and restoration of the Vanderveer Harris Historic Home located in Hillsborough Township pursuant to NJSA 40A colon 11-25. The law requires that the township hold a public hearing to receive public comment on the pre-qualification rules for the prospective historic preservation construction bidders for the Vanderveer Harris Historic Project. The project is funded by a county historic preservation grant and this represents phase two of the project. Uh, our township planner, Mr. David Maskey, is here to provide details. I'll ask him to come up now and uh, provide those details. Hi, Dave. Everybody. Um, as you know, we're preparing to go out to bid for the second phase of the renovations at the Vanderveer Harris House. Uh, due to the specialized nature of the work, we have to set up a pre-qualified pre pool of contractors. In order to do that, uh, pursuant to the local uh, public contracts law, we have to set up a pre uh, have a public hearing, I should say, on the pre-qualifications. The pre-qualifications are basically a questionnaire that solicits the uh, experience of various contractors. 
this document would go out to anybody who's interested in it. Uh, they would submit their pre-qualification package back to the township. Our architect, uh, Milton Schnoring, would, would review them to see if they're qualified. If they are, the pool would be set up, and then only those contractors would receive the actual construction bid document, and they would be eligible to uh, bid on the project. The public hearing tonight, to be clear, is not about bid documents. It's not about construction documents. It's uh, solely on the uh, pre-qualification questionnaire. It sets up the criteria for being pre-qualified, and again, it lays out a list of questions for the contractors to, uh, to respond to. Ten days from this date of the hearing, we would have to submit the, uh, the resolution, the minutes, the notice of this meeting to the uh, Division of Local Government Services. They have 30 days to uh, approve the actual pre-quals. Once they do, uh, then we could go out to bid, uh, or I should say, then we can put the pre-quals on the street, get responses to that, and then the bid process from there on pretty much goes as a standard project. Uh, we hope to have the bids on the street if everything goes well by July, end of July. Okay. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any comments from Adais? Good. Okay. Is there any discussion from the floor on this item? Okay. Thank you, David. Uh, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? We need a roll call? Okay. Okay, the motion passes. Thank you, Mr. Maskey. Uh, we'll move to ordinance 2016 04, an ordinance to amend, revise, and supplement the township code of the township of Hillsborough, most notably chapter 73, which is officers and employees, especially section 73 116, assistant supervisor of parks duties, section 73 126, supervisor of public works duties and section 73-129 personnel and section 73-131 duties of assistant supervisor of public works and repealing where applicable the provisions of ordinance 2011-24. This ordinance expands the duties of certain supervisor personnel in the, pub, in the parks and public works department to permit additional job functions to be performed, more specifically supervisory functions. This will allow for further streamlining of the two, two departments from a supervisory perspective. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2016-04. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Is there any discussion from the dais? Any discussion from the floor? May I have a motion to close the public hearing and adopt Ordinance 2016-04. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Burchette? Yes. Commissioner McCauley? Yes. Commissioner Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. We'll move to introduction of new ordinances. Uh, we have 2016-05, an ordinance authorizing acceptance of deed of dedication and conservation easement for buffer area from Pearson Properties, LLC for the property identified on the tax map of the Township of Hillsborough as block 151.09, lot 220. Further consideration of this ordinance and a public hearing will be held on May 24th, 2016. This ordinance allows the Township to accept a deed of dedication and conservation easement as required conditions of a planning board approval. Local land and building law only allows the municipality to accept land or interest in land through the adoption of an ordinance this ordinance has been reviewed and found acceptable by our township attorney. May I have a motion to introduce the ordinance? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Mayor Rochette? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Move to 2016-06, an ordinance of the Township of Hillsborough County of Somerset State of New Jersey to revise Chapter 143, <coughs> Vehicles and Traffic, Article 12, Schedules, Section 46, Article 17, Speed Limit of the Code of the Township of Hillsborough to change the speed limit on Dukes Parkway West from 40 miles per hour to 35 miles per hour. 
Further consideration of this ordinance and a public hearing will be held on May the 24th, 2016. Pursuant to an engineering study conducted by Mazer Consulting, the recommendation is to reduce the speed limit from 40 miles per hour down to 35. This, order, this ordinance effectuates that change for public safety. We have a motion to introduce the ordinance. So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Member Shaft. Yes. Committee Woman Coley. Yes. Committee Thompson. Yes. Mayor Delcor. Yes. We'll move to considerations. Uh, we had already done consideration number one, which was the uh, the police officer. So we'll move to consideration number two, which is a resolution authorizing the work required for the municipal building tree planting project by Central Jersey Nurseries in an amount not to exceed thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars. The township sought and received three quotes for a tree planting project to be funded through our tree mitigation fund. The director of public works and the township qualified purchasing agent recommend Central Jersey Nurseries to provide for this project. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from Adas? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Commander Burchette? Yes. Commander Will McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Consideration number three is a resolution authorizing the hiring of Louis C. Cartaya as a part-time plumbing inspector in the Township of Hillsborough Building Department, effective April 27, 2016, at $30 per hour, not to exceed 29 hours per week. There exists a vacancy in the position of part-time plumbing inspector in our building department. Mr. Cartaya has been recommended for the position by our construction official. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from Adeus? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Mayor Bruchette? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Resolution number four, uh, consideration number four is a resolution authorizing the hiring of Alyssa DiGirolamo to work for as a summer intern in the Hillsborough Township Health Department, effective April 27, 2016, at $14.50 per hour, not to exceed 29 hours per week. Ms. DiGirolamo, uh, as volunteered and passed for our health department. She'll be graduating in May with a bachelor's in health sciences from James Madison University, and we'd like to welcome her to our health department. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Commissioner Burchett. Yes. Commissioner McCauley. Yes. Commissioner Thompson. Yes. Mayor Delcor. Yes. Consideration number five is a resolution authorizing the furnishing and installation of non-skid tile flooring in the police department by Carpet Heritage in an amount not to exceed $10,471.45. The township sought and received three quotes for the non-skid tile flooring for the police department. The chief and the, ha the township's uh, qualified purchasing agent recommend Carpet Heritage to complete the project. We have a motion. So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? I'm just glad we went with the non-skid. Absolutely. Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Commander Yes. Commander McCauley. Yes. Commander Thompson. Yes. Mayor Delcor. Yes. Consideration number six is a resolution authorizing the hiring of Brian Van Dongen uh, to the position of Recreation Coordinator at an annual salary of $35,517, effective April the 27th of 2016, and authorizing to post for the position of Recreation Assistant. There exists a vacancy in the position of Recreation Coordinator in the Recreation Department. Brian has been with the Township on a full-time basis for over two and a half years and has proven himself in his current role, and uh, we'd like to congratulate and promote him up to uh, the next level. Brian is in the back there, so Kaz has already got him on <laughs> camera. So, Brian, congratulations. May I have a motion? So, so moved. moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Just a quick comment, Mayor. We're uh, happy to bri have Brian move on up, and as we like to uh, here in the township move up our, our internal employees uh, who have that experience, so we're very happy that Brian is uh, moving up, and uh, we know with past experience. Uh, the job that he can do so we're looking forward to uh, all the things he's going to endeavor here with uh, all the new things coming up in the next couple of months with our Memorial Day Parade and uh, and Family Fun Day and the rest so uh, 
when he's not going anywhere, he's just moving over. But uh, we know uh, additional responsibility he'll be able to handle. So thank you. Anything else from the desk? Congratulations. Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Commander Burchett. Sure. Yes. Commander McCauley. Yes. Commander Thompson. Well deserved, yes. And Mayor Delcor. Yeah, Brian, congratulations. Welcome. I mean, um, welcome to your new role. <laughs> congratulations. Did I say yes? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> we'll move to our consent agenda. Can I have a motion to approve our consent agenda tonight? So moved, Mayor. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Member Shett? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Uh, claims list 2016-08. Can I have a motion to approve uh, claims list 2016-08? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Member Shep? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delfort? Yes. This will conclude our uh, regular meeting this evening. Uh, may I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Good night. We are adjourned.